Hi, welcome to Everyday and Adventure. Lately I've been looking for a vehicle to replace the Yukon that blew its transfer case. And so it, I had a few requirements for it. It needed to be four wheel drive and <clears throat> gas powered instead of diesel. It needed to be easy to work on, fairly simple. Um, I wanted big tires and something that was fairly capable with a little bit of weight. And this is what I came up with. Let's get into it. My 1967 International Lodestar four-wheel drive. It's an ex-fire truck. Um, apparently it was for the Eagle Lake uh, Volunteer Fire Rescue. Um, it's got a 700 gallon tank on the bed, a Hercules powered uh, rear pump. Um, all this stuff is going to be taken off. Uh, I'm going to be cutting these off and removing the tank and engine. I'm going to leave the toolboxes in place um, so I can have uh, some toolboxes on the bed to work with and this is going to be my uh, daily. This is going to be the truck I go to work with and uh, do a little bit of exploring out here. It's not going to replace the five ton for um, most of my, uh, a lot of my adventure work out in the desert, but this will get me, this is going to be my scout vehicle, um, something I can take out ahead of the five ton, um, so that I can make sure that it's not too tight in there to get the five ton in. Um, she's got the, uh, hoods on the side that, uh, man, I, I forget the name of them. Anyway, it's got hoods on the side. Instead of uh, opening from the front, they open from the sides. This is a uh, 345 International V8. Uh, it's got a Holly carb. Um, it's had a little bit of work done to it. Uh, you can cl clearly tell that uh, the fire department did a fairly good job at maintaining it. And then they sold it at auction about 10 years ago. Um, <clears throat> And since, it, since then, it's been in private hands. Uh, we can take a look at the interior. So, uh, the seat needs a little bit of work. Uh, it needs a headliner. It's got 34,502 miles. Um, you can see the placard for the uh, for the Eaton uh, diff lock. I think it's for the rear. Um, it has an indicator here for the uh, front axle engagement. The transfer case is split into high, low, and or in out on the uh, four wheel drive. So you could theoretically use two wheel drive in low. 
um, manual choke, wiper switch. Uh, this is a vent for the outside, headlights. Um, this is your heater controls. The heater does work in it. Uh, it's got a spotlight and uh, it's a four speed. First is all the way over and up. Reverse is all the way uh, to the right and down. Um, it's a standard pattern. It doesn't have anything backwards. Uh, this is your emergency brake. This is your axle engagement. And this is your high-low on your transfer case. These are PTO controls. Um, it has a hand throttle to run the PTO for the winch. It is a factory winch for it is a factory winch truck. The uh, driver's side door is a little bit hard to open from the inside, but so it does need a little bit of love here and there. Um, it's got a 10,000 pound winch. This is a synthetic line. Uh, this truck, unlike the five ton, came with a title. This is going to be uh, road legal as of Wednesday. Um, We've got 100 gallon tanks, or we have two 50 gallon tanks making 100 gallons of uh, fuel. Uh, they're just tied in at the bottom. Um, they don't feed from the front or the back, they feed from the front. So I'm gonna have to redesign that to where it'll run at high incline. Um, but uh, the tank is on its own. Uh, its own frame here and this is completely removable and so is the deck engine uh, these just unbolt from the bed so that's going to be fairly simple to get the work done on i'm just going to have to get the dozer started up to uh do something about that and get those off of there so i have the bed to work with um i believe this air filter is a uh it's an oil bath air filter, so I may end up upgrading that. Uh, they're Hydro Boost brakes. Um, it's got power steering, all that, all that good stuff. I believe this is a uh, starter control uh, for maintenance, or for maybe uh, moving the winch out. And. Uh, that's about it oh and the best part at least for the moment is uh the beacons work and so do the red lights the sirens aren't hooked up although it does have them. Um, everything in, in cab works. It's actually got a factory uh, turn signal instead of uh, one of the add-on ones with the, the, the clamp that goes around the steering column. Um, let me shut that off real quick. So, this is my uh, this is my new daily, and it's a uh, kind of a project truck. It's got it's got uh, eight and a quarter twenties on it, which measure out to about thirty seven inches. Uh, I think that I may end up going a little bit larger, maybe eleven hundred twenties, which would be forty two. Um, when I bought it, I bought it in Caldwell, Idaho, and drove it back to Winnemucca, so I made about two hundred and fifty miles. Um, with this yesterday. Uh, the tanks do need cleaned out. I uh, fouled out the original fuel filter for it, replaced that with an inline filter, and ended up fouling it, and had a bunch of problems on the way back. But it made it here. The last 100 miles was excellent. I didn't have to do anything. I just put my foot to the floor and drove it home. Um, oh, through the mountains and all that. Uh, so, it is going to be a little bit of a project truck. Um, it's going to get Ford Blue uh, tractor paint with high, like uh, enamel. Um, it's going to be high gloss. 
Uh, I've been thinking about replacing the bed with a pickup bed since it's a shorter wheelbase. I think a dually pickup bed might actually work on it for for this frame um, because another thing is the bed overhangs the frame enough to where it's going to be kind of a pain to get a receiver hitch on it um, that'll clear the step. Oh, this is kind of a neat feature. So you've got that step built into the bed so you can get up in there. So yeah, so yeah that's my 1967 International uh, Lodestar four-wheel drive. Uh, here in a second I'm going to take it down this uh, trail here up to Jungo and then head on home. Um, but yeah, this is going to be this is going to be my new daily. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Have a good one.